everybody, this is Amelia from the North Country Children's Museum. Today we're going to learn how to make a rain gauge since it's supposed to be pretty rainy this week. All you need is an empty clear two liter bottle, a tape measure, you can use a ruler, you can use the tailor's tape which I have, doesn't matter, scissors, some rocks, I took these this morning from our lawn, some water, and a sharpie. You can also use some paint if you want to decorate either the rocks or the bottle. Just make sure you leave a little bit to, um, so that you can mark and make sure you can see the, rock, the water. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your scissors, you could also use an X-Acto knife, and you're gonna cut the top off the two liter bottle. I'm gonna actually mark mine so that I know where I'm cutting. I'm gonna go about right here. Now that you're done with that, you should have two pieces. And when you're done, it'll go in like this to act as a funnel. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your rocks, which you actually should have washed off. I didn't mention that part. I just ran mine under cold water um, for a little bit because they had some dirt on it. You're gonna fill it in the bottom. This is gonna act um, as a weight so that it doesn't blow over when it's windy. That's about good. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your Sharpie and you're gonna mark the bottom of where the rocks are. That way, it won't measure the rocks when you're measuring your rain gauge. Now you're gonna take the water that you have and you're gonna pour until it covers just at the top of the rocks. That's your first measurement. Then you're gonna take your ruler or measuring tape and you're gonna measure up the side of the bottle. You're gonna start right at the mark you made. You can either choose to do inches or centimeters. It'll be more accurate if you do centimeters, but inches might be easier if you're working with somebody younger. So you're gonna measure it up. Make a mark, I'm gonna do um, every half inch. So you can make a mark. Okay. I'm gonna just label the full inches. So this is one, this is two, three, four, and five. It should look like that when you're done. Now all you have left to do is put your funnel back It'll look like that. And then you have to pick out a good spot to put it. We're gonna go right now and pick out a good spot in our yard to put this. All right, everybody, we made sure to pick a good spot. That means there's no trees overhead and the rain can fall directly inside. We also put a rock right up against it to make sure just to double check that it doesn't fall. We'll check back later because it's supposed to rain this afternoon to see how much rain we get. All right, everybody, it turns out it didn't rain today. But that's okay. So what we're gonna do is we'll check it throughout the week and I want you to do the same thing. What you can do is make a graph of every time it rains and how much it rains. If it rains more than once throughout the week, then what you're gonna wanna do is pour it out um, until you get to that line right above the rocks so that you get an accurate estimate of how much it rained. You can also check in with your local weather department to see how much they have recorded rain and if yours matches. All right, everybody, see you next week.